Hey guys, my name is Stacy Bowl and I'm the photographer behind Illy Studios and this is my vlog series. So today I'm going to be talking about planning your wedding day. So I'm going to be covering timeline, questionnaire, um, how I keep you on track and how long to allot for photos on the wedding day. So to begin, um, the first thing I do is send you guys a timeline file. And this is just because a lot of people have no idea even where to start planning their wedding day. So I send you guys a sample timeline and then we start tweaking it towards you specifically. The sample timeline is nice because it kind of gives you a, just an idea where to start. Um, so what I kind of do is I take the hours of coverage that you guys went with um, me and I do a start time and a stop time. And then I just do what people average go with for ceremony time, dinner and dance just to kind of give you guys a nice starting point to start planning. And then we tweak it towards you, like, you know, if your ceremony time's different, so on and so forth. And the timeline is just really nice because not only does it, you know, break down everything as far as like first look, you know, bridal party photos, family photos, everything like that, but it's just making sure that no moment is missed. Um, and it kind of helps you schedule your entire day, not just photo wise. Um, and I also on the timeline, a lot for what I kind of recommend for how long photos should take. And, you know, obviously we can start tweaking it towards you specifically if you feel we need more or less. Um, I would say my typical timeline goes from getting ready photos through first dances. And the most popular hours people go with is nine hours because that's, um, in my opinion, like a really nice kind of story throughout of the whole day where you're doing getting ready through first dances. Um, you can obviously go with more or less, but that's kind of the average and what I would recommend. Um, the next thing I send you guys is a questionnaire, which is just basically um, getting all the information I need from you guys for the wedding day. So it's getting like addresses as far as like where you're getting ready, um, where your ceremony is, where your reception is. I collect phone numbers, you know, emergency contact information, just so I'm not having to ask you guys anything on the wedding day. And so I can, you know, maybe call your maid of honor instead of you if I have a question. So just kind of getting all the important information I need. You guys don't have to fill out the questionnaire, but if you don't want to, I just typically ask for addresses and phone numbers. Um, but there is a helpful tips and tricks section just to kind of get you guys thinking about things that you would probably never know about or never think about, but that I've kind of noticed having worked so many weddings. Um, there's also a special request section, you know, if there's something that I wouldn't know to typically get, um, you know, like a, like a very special heirloom or something very specific that I wouldn't naturally know to get, and that's the typical things. Um, so I think it's really helpful so, and it doesn't take very long to fill out. And then the next thing would be how people typically ask how long for photos on the wedding day. And in the timeline file, I give you guys my recommendation on how long for like bridal party photos, family photos, you and the groom, first look, things like that. Um, we obviously can customize it towards you if you think we need more or less time, but I do allow a good buffer and drive time as well in my, you know, estimations because a lot of times on the wedding day you run behind, even if it's just a little bit. So I, I allow a lot of buffer time in there and a little bit more time than we actually need just so we're not, you know, down to the last minute and running around stressed out. Um, and the next thing would be how I keep you guys on track throughout the day. So I'm never going to yell at you or bark orders at you or make you, you know, feel like you're, you know, being ordered around throughout the day, but I definitely am gonna do my best to keep you guys on track. And I'm gonna try to do it in an encouraging way without causing any stress or anxiety. So I'm just gonna kind of let you guys know like, hey, you know, we better get going or like, you know, we, we may wanna hurry this up a little bit. So I do it in a kind way, um, but I do keep you informed throughout the whole day, whether I'm running out to my car for something so you're not looking around for me or, you know, even down to like, sunset photos, you know, I'll come up to you during your dinner and warn you that, hey, maybe we should go outside in like 15, 20 minutes. Then I'll come up and, come up and grab you at the time, just because I don't want you to have to be like looking at the clock or worrying about the schedule at all. I just want you guys enjoying your wedding day, laying back, relaxing, soaking it all in, and I'm the one who can worry about the schedule and, you know, making sure we're on time. So that's kind of a little bit more about how, you know, I plan you guys' wedding day with you prior and how I help you know, keep on schedule on the day of. Um, so as usual, thank you so much for, you know, taking the time to know me and my business. And I cannot wait to be a part of your wedding day. Thanks guys.